They've been fighting each other for years. Now, they're giving peace a chance. Libya's rival governments reached a deal in Tunis on Sunday to appoint an interim setup. When Libyans meet of their own will, there's a Libyan solution and Libyan ideas. With this meeting, we will find a faster solution to the crisis. We've just signed a statement or a memorandum of understanding that its achievement depends on ratification by parliament and the General National Congress. They've decided to form a 10-member committee, five from each side. That committee will decide on an interim prime minister and two deputies within two weeks. The interim setup will lead to elections in two years. Libya has been in a state of turmoil since the 2011 revolution ended Muammar Gaddafi's rule. His exit paved the way for rival factions to fight for supremacy. Eventually, they came under two broad umbrellas. Conservative and hardline groups such as Ansar al-Sharia joined together as part of the Libya Dawn Coalition, also called the General National Congress. It drove the internationally recognized government out of Tripoli in August 2014. The elected representatives fled to the far eastern city of Tobruk and has been operating from there. Leading the campaign against the GNC is General Khalifa Haftar, head of the ousted government forces. An internal political solution is required by the Libyans to confront Daesh. If there are positive results in favor of the Libyan people, we will support these results. Libya faces many challenges, including the emergence of Daesh in the east of the country. But this political resolution offers hope that conflicting sides are ready to work together for peace. Ali Mustafa, TRT World.